All right, we got this engine in. This is all hooked up. Well, a few small touches left. Enough that it's going to run. Uh, had it started once already for a quick second. Fired up no problem. Uh, but I noticed a leak at the back of the engine right away. Uh, one of the fittings that for the the heater fittings rotted right at the end, so I just cut it off a bit and sanded her down as much as I could so I can get a nice grip on with the the hose and I took the old clamp piece of crap off that was on there. They don't fit very tight in the factory ones, so I put on a uh, a regular pipe clamp, the kind that you can screw on tight. So I sp sprayed in some uh, ignition plastic seal stuff there as well. Hopefully I, that's all I got right now for a little extra bite, so she doesn't uh, doesn't leak. Anyway, we'll give her a second try here and hope the hell everything goes good. Exhaust isn't hooked up yet completely, but that'll be tomorrow, maybe, maybe tonight. Who knows? But yeah, she runs uh, pretty decent actually. Fifteen month warranty on a used engine. That's a pretty good deal too. Five hundred bucks. So far, no water dripping. I haven't quite got the antifreeze topped up, and I need to. Let her warm right up. Anyway, the worst part of this was trying to get the engine to line up on the spline on the transmission, but I had to do a little bit of rigging for that, and I got that finally. Don't look too bad. Sounds mean, I should just leave the exhaust off. <laughs> anyway, it's a piece of crap phone and it heats up batteries like crazy, so I'm gonna let her go for now. I don't think we'll have any problems. Alrighty. This was uh, not fun, but had to be done. It saves a lot of money. Oh, by the way, I took the filter out of the old engine, and yeah, for sure, there was all kinds of metal particles in there, so she was done. I made the right call by just switching the engine instead of trying to fix it. All right, boys, we'll talk to you later.